Trump is a sort of extremist eliminator. He won't stop. He won't get drained. He is tireless in his quest for power and will successfully get and keep it. Also, he is here the present moment. He isn't the only one. A considerable lot of Trump supporters will participate in demonstrations of psychological oppression and other savagery at his order. Others in Trump's circle are involving him as a weapon to propel their own plan of making another American politically sanctioned racial segregation Christian fundamentalist plutocracy. They have no need for Trump by and by. Some of them will try and recognize, in private, that he is extremely risky. However, they have persuaded themselves that Trump can be sent to do their offering. To this point, they have been demonstrated right. At last, Donald Trump's most memorable system was nevertheless a sea of the American bad dream he and the Republican extremists are progressing. Assuming Trump gets back to drive in 2024 or past, matters will be far more terrible. Donald Trump and his overthrow Confederates should be arraigned, attempted, sentenced and given the most extreme discipline permitted under the law as an important initial phase in saving American majority rules system and the country's future from the rising fundamentalist tide. The House January 6 Board of Trustees hearings have affirmed that Trump's overthrow endeavor was a lot nearer to prevailing than numerous among the standard American news media and the country's political class needed to accept. As a component of that plot, Trump and his Confederates implanted their representatives in basic situations all through the United States government at the most elevated levels, including the public safety state. Their part in the overthrow and ensuing endeavors to stow away and in any case hide or potentially obliterate proof is as yet being uncovered. These specialists stay faithful to Donald Trump and the Republican extremist development. Apparently, they will be utilized in the future in any future overthrow or other endeavor to invalidate American vote-based system and law and order. Trump's overthrow plot was upset by individuals from his organization as well as profession government employees who were more faithful to the Constitution and law and order than to his extremist character faction. On the off chance that and when Trump takes power once more, he will eliminate such impediments to his dictator rule. In a basically significant late article at Axios, Jonathan Swan made sense of how such an arrangement will be established. Donald Trump's previous White House consultant Stephen Miller would assume a key part in concluding who is qualified for the new system per its steadfastness and other philosophical litmus tests, distinguishing and gathering a rundown of legal advisors who might be prepared to fill the key general guidance occupations across government in a moment term Trump organization, Swan composes. Mill operator has his eye out for general guidance who will forcefully execute Trump's requests and suspiciously question any vocation government lawyer who lets them know their arrangements are unlawful or is impossible. In another article at the New York Times, driving humanist and political researcher Theta Scottpole cleared up for Thomas Edsel Hout Rump, in a subsequent term, would get similar steadfast and untamed tyrants at every turn, particularly to run justice, homeland security and defense. Scottpel likewise made sense of that America's political and other overseeing foundations wouldn't endure another Trump expression, particularly due to resemble supporting improvements in a greater part of states and in the government courts. Demoralization and out-and-out -out restraint and well-known dangers of viciousness would drive most anti-extremists and nonconformists into full retreat. This minority rule, Scottpel notes, would drive the country into a significant new long-term time of U.S. legislative issues. We may as of now have done as such, given the 6-3 SCOTUS larger part dedicated to gutting national government power for some Democratic Party plan needs no part of this ought to be a shock. Trump's discourse last week and his threatening messages of the rule of law are a great representation of how extremists and different dictators extend their power. Trump has a profound fascination with savagery. In that capacity, he respects dictator pioneers, for example, Putin, Orban, Erdogan, Duterte, Mohammed Container Salman and Bolsonaro, and how they accepted, have the ability to kill freely, and take part in demonstrations of wanton savagery and brutality against their adversaries and others, for the sake of the rule of law, well-being, security and solidarity.